What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, uh, back with another extension tutorial for you. So today we're going to use a couple different tutorials, uh, most notably Curvaloft, to create um, kind of a curving lattice type shape. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So um, first thing you're going to want is you're going to want to have a couple different extensions installed. Um, the first is Curvaloft by Fred06. Um, I'm going to use the Bezier Spline toolbar as well, which is just basically a toolbar designed to help you uh, draw better curves. That's also by Fredo 6. And then you're also going to want the uh, lines to tubes extension. Um, and I'll link to all of those in the notes below. Uh, you should be able to find most of those by searching for them in the uh, Sketchication, um, either the Sketchication store or just searching for them on Sketchication itself. But let's go ahead and just jump into this thing. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete out the default model. The first thing I'm going to do is just draw a face. Um, so just draw a canvas just like this. Um, just kind of a flat face so you can kind of draw some stuff on. And then uh, what we're going to do from there is we're going to start off and we're going to use the classic Bezier curve from the Bezier toolbar um, to just kind of draw a curve in here. And basically all I'm doing is I'm trying to come in here. Oops. I'm trying to come in here and just kind of draw a curve um, that's it's just more tall than it is wide. It's something that you can't really do with the arc tool. But basically what I want to do is I want this to kind of end up above just like this so that when I come in here, um, as you can see just like this, um, I've got this curve in here. And I'm going to go ahead and erase out all these other faces right now. But I've got kind of a tall curve just like this. And you can kind of adjust that using the scale tool if you don't like the way that it looks. But now all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of that. So I'm going to use the move tool in copy mode. So I'm going to select it, tap the M key, click on this point, and tap the control key. Um, that activates copy mode. So when you're moving this with the move tool, just hit the control key to make a copy. Then I'm going to rotate this copy 90 degrees using the rotate tool. So I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees. You can activate the rotate tool by tapping the Q key on your keyboard. But basically all I want to do is I want to come in here and I want to put this point basically on the origin, just like this. Then I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to draw an arc between these two points. And basically what I'm doing is I'm drawing the outline of like a skin. Um, so you want to imagine if you were going to come drape like a sheet over this or something like that. Um, that's how we're going to create our shape using Curvaloft's uh, uh, skinning tool. So, and then you can draw a line just like this between these two points. And so basically all you want to do is make sure all these segments touch each other, just like this. Because then what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, we're going to select all of this and in Curvaloft, there's an option for skinning, meaning that you can draw these arcs just like this and then come in here and activate the skinning tool. And you can see how what that's going to do is that's going to create a skin just like this. And so what we want to do first actually is we want to come in here and we want to adjust some of the options um, in the Curvaloft toolbar because we're going to do two different things. We're going to create a face, but we're also going to create a series of lines that we can uh, turn into some tubes. Um, so the first thing we want to do is we want to come in here and one of the cool things that Curvaloft has is there's a couple options under geometry. Um, so there's a couple options in here where you can add some kind of hidden geometry in here just like this. But what we want is we want these two options for these vertical and horizontal lines. Because what we want to do is we want to start off and when you click on these, all it's going to do is create these lines. It's not actually going to create the face. So you can see how when I click on this and this, in here it shows you just the lines but not the face later so we want to create those first and put them in a group so come in here select your objects click on these two boxes and then just click somewhere off in your uh, off in your model somewhere and you can see how what that did is that came in here and that created just this geometry and you can see how when I um, look at it in the outliner it created it as kind of a group in here well what I'm gonna do just to keep it organized is I'm gonna rename this in my outliner and I'm just gonna call this um, we'll just call it lines and so now what we can do is we can right click on that and we can hide it so that we have our original skinning in here and then you can drag a box across it and we're gonna do the same thing again but this time we want to actually come in here and create the face. So don't click these boxes. Um, just come in here, run curve aloft again, and click just like this. And you can see how what that does is that comes in here and that makes a group with the actual face in it. So now what we can do is we can rename this. We'll call this face. 
And so now we're going to do. Um, so now we're going to come in here and we're going to create our tubes along our lines. So I'm going to unhide the lines just like this. And uh, what I want to do is I want to double click so that I'm inside that group so I can select this individual geometry. And I just want to select it all and I want to run the lines to tubes extension and that'll show up as convert arc circles lines to cylinders just like this. First I'm going to come in here and I'm going to check my size just to kind of get an idea because I'm going to come in here and I'm going to create tubes along each one of these lines so I want to make sure I create the right uh, the right kind of uh, radius or diameter in here. So you can see how I can kind of check that by using the tape measure tool. So probably I want to create some pretty small radiuses. I think I'm going to bring them in here at about an eighth. But so double click inside this lines group, select everything, and then run the lines to tubes option just like this. Um, and you can say yes on follow me on curves, yes on group, each tube is a group, you can say no. And then um, for the diameter, so it's not actually asking for the radius, it's asking for the diameter. Um, we're going to type in 0.25. That's how wide we want those tubes to be. And you can come in here and you can adjust the precision. That's the number of segments that it's going to create in here. So if you have a slower computer, you may want to drop this down to like 8 or something like that. Um, it will make those a little choppier, but a lot of the time it doesn't really matter on something like this. But we're going to go ahead and run this, and it's going to take a little while because it's going to create a lot of geometry. Then we'll just kind of take a look and see what it comes up with. You can see how down in the lower left hand corner it tells me that it's generating the tubes. And uh, for a while there it shows me the percentage um, complete that it has, but then it kind of it kind of just goes into work mode and it doesn't update that percentage anymore. So we're just going to let this run for a bit. All right, so you can see it came in here and it tells you how many tubes it created. So it came in here and created a lot of tubes. And you can see how these are all fairly narrow in here just like this. But now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to work with our face. So if you come in here and uh, you double click on your face just like this, we're going to apply a glass material, which we've done a bunch of times before. Um, but we're going to just kind of apply this kind of translucent glass material just like this to this face. So now what you've got is you've got this kind of lattice shape with uh, the material in here. And I probably could have made these a little thicker, um, but you can see how what that gives you is that gives you a great uh, centered glass face in here just like this. And then you can come in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to group both of those objects. I'll just select these two, right click on them and click make group. And actually I'm going to go ahead and make them a component. Um, and we'll just call this glass and line combo. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to make a copy just like this. So select everything, use the move tool in copy mode, and then you're just going to flip it using the scale tool. So just like this, and you could also right click on this and use the flip along option. But then you're just going to move this back so that these kind of overlap. So everything's kind of lined up and you're going to get a little bit of geometry overlap on this one. So just make sure you kind of line everything up so that everything works the right way. But then once you do that, you can just come in here and you've got this kind of like 180 degree um, lattice with glass inside of it, just like this. And so you can use this process to create a lot of different things with Curviloft. So uh, just remember that most of the time, if you want to create something that's got a lattice, that's got a whole bunch of glass and stuff like that, um, usually a good place to start is if you can get that face created in the shape that you want, then you can figure out a way to get the line so that you can draw the tubes along it. So anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Um, do you like this workflow? Is there something you would like me to see or would like to see me do differently? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Um, I do want to note um, for a couple more days, Artisan is on sale. Um, that's an organic modeling tool set and it's on sale for 50% off. So you guys may want to go check that out. Um, you can uh, get a free trial at the sketchupessentials.com slash artisan. And uh, that is an affiliate link. So if you end up purchasing it, um, I do get, get a small commission, but it's also a great place to start with your organic modeling. So um, I'd recommend going and at least trying out, uh, giving the trial a try and seeing if you like it because uh, it doesn't go on sale for 50% off very often. But anyway, uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week week. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.